Hi everybody and welcome back to Kimchi and Cornbread. I'm Sherry. It is grilling season, so if you're like me and you like a substantial hamburger with all the fixings on it, you're definitely going to need a bun that holds it all together, right? So today we're going to be making homemade brioche buns. And it's really simple, just a little bit of time, but totally worth it. Um, I will have all the ingredients linked down below to the blog post with the printable recipe card and all you have to do is just follow along. I've already got the flour in my mixing bowl. Um, we're going to do this in the, hand, or the stand mixer. You can definitely do this by hand but it takes a long time and I really don't have that stamina to do it. So I'm just going to toss it in here. And even better, you just throw all the ingredients in at the same time. There's no letting the yeast rise and all this other junk. You just toss it all in and do it at one time. So I'm going to go ahead and flour, yeast, our eggs, our butter. And you have to make sure your butter is really softened to room temperature. Our sugar. And at this point, go ahead and drizzle in your milk. So this is going to knead for about 10 minutes and I'm going to clean up and I'll show you what it looks like when we get there. All right, so it's been 10 minutes and our dough has kneaded beautifully. This dough is going to be a little on the stickier side and that's fine. And we're going to let it rest for about an hour. So our dough has been proofing for about an hour. At this point, you're going to want to put it in the refrigerator overnight. This is where it develops its flavor and does a slow rise. But thanks to the effects of movie magic, I've already done that. So I'm going on to the next step. I'm going to turn my dough out. You're probably going to get about eight buns out of this. So we're going to go ahead and divide it. We want to get them to come together. Flat it out. All right, so at this point, we're going to let them proof again for about another hour, hour and a half until they're not chilled anymore. Halfway through, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 375 and uh, we'll work on the next step when we get there. So our buns have proofed for the second time. I'm ready to put them in the oven and before I do that, I want to go ahead and brush them with a little bit of egg wash. And all this is is a little bit of um, egg white mixed with a little bit of water. And you want to do this carefully because you don't want to knock out any of the air that has built up in here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven for about 18 to 20 minutes. I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on them because if they start to brown too fast, uh, I'm gonna tent them with aluminum foil. Um, the easiest way to check when they're done is the internal temp should reach about 190 because remember, these are not going to be as fluffy. They are a thick, substantial bun. So uh, into the oven they go. So our brioche buns are done. I took them out of the oven and I put them on a cooling rack to let them cool for a little bit. You can't cut into warm bread or it won't have the integrity that you're looking for. So let's go ahead and cut this baby open. And that is beautiful. It's a good eggy thick bun and substantial and it will definitely hold whatever you plan on putting on it. And in my case, it's pulled pork.